Welcome back. We're a few minutes away from the opening bell on Wall Street, but let's hit a couple movers on the Yahoo Finance platform. Brad, I'm watching CGIN on a Wall Street Journal report that Merck may bid $40 billion for the company. Now, we reached out to Merck for comment. They did not return our request for comment. Uh, but Brad, this could be a pretty big deal for Merck as, as key Truda, its key cancer drug, could lose patent uh, protection over the next decade. Yeah, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, I've been taught, and oncology is the powerhouse for Merck results and sales here. And this is extremely key for Merck being able to, as time goes on and patents roll off, for them being able to make some strategic acquisitions that really help them sure up the sales and revenue that they see in that oncology business here um, that continues to account for a little bit uh, a little bit shy of a third of the business uh, as of this most recent quarter. And so really looking across kind of this acquisition landscape, we could see even more consolidation in that effort as you do see uh, across Merck and other biotechnology, com uh, other biotechnology companies, excuse me, um, looking to ensure that that next leg of growth, kind of similar to what we see in the uh, ERP landscape where, is there, where there's this acquire to grow strategy for, for licensing and for the technology, similarly so um, in the biotechnology space as well. And so uh, this particularly would be massive for CGen if, if they were to be absorbed by Merck here. Um, and we'll see if we can get a statement from either of the companies confirming this one way or the other, Saz. Yeah, CGen, a major player. Uh, Brad, last year, one of its key products at Cetris uh, 1.4 $1 billion dollars in sales, uh, and, and really looking all uh, overall, uh, the company is looking to have over a uh, billion dollars in sales this year, close to uh, according to Wall Street analysts, I believe close to actually two billion dollars. So uh, a real uh, legitimate company doing very important work. But Brian, to get the sense, the bigger going to get bigger uh, inside the drug space as they all uh, position for the future of various uh, diseases. It's not just Merck; it's also Pfizer. And for both of those companies, a key effort that they've been attempting to move forward with over the past two years is ensuring that their vaccine candidates are able to not only be another line item, but be receptive by the general population. And the larger question is when some of those vaccine revenues that they've seen, whether a result of some of the state or government funding or the result of additional purchases being made from other countries around the world, when that starts to roll back a little bit, where do you start to backfill for that revenue that some of the investors have uh, either already had to price in or become accustomed to at least this revenue level um, over this period of time? So continuing to keep a close eye on some of the vaccine manufacturers uh, and, and producers and those involved within that supply chain as well.